Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth. I'm a nursing leader here at Sky Ridge Medical Center on the mom baby unit. And I'm here today to show you a very short demonstration on how to burp your baby. So to help me with this demonstration, I have Miss Sophia. And Miss Sophia, I have to tell you, is by far one of the cutest babies I have ever seen. She is absolutely beautiful. So she's here to help. So just for starters, I just want to let you know, a lot of people burp their baby in the very traditional way where you take baby, you place baby over your shoulder, and you pat. And that's a great technique to use to burp the baby. However, sometimes the babies get a little too sleepy, and so they don't always get a good burp. So, I know, I saw it. I'm gonna include you, hold on. I know, I'm sorry. There, it's okay. So, for the first technique I wanna show you on how to burp the baby. I like this technique a lot because, for starters, you wanna keep the baby nice and swaddled. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn her, and I'm gonna place Miss Sophia here on my forearm. With this technique, the, ba the basic thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that her mouth is facing outward. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pat. When you pat, you wanna make sure that you're not doing a tiny little pat, but a good pat. That way you get a good burp. You can also rub baby's back and you can keep patting. I also really like this technique because she's nice and comfortable. You can also sway with her. You can walk around, you can move with her. And also, it gets dads involved. So why after a mom feeds baby, dad can burp the baby. So that's one way. Nice job, Sophia. Okay, the second technique I'm gonna show you, I actually really like, I really like to use on babies, just because it keeps them very alert. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can again, keep the baby nice and swaddled so they can't move around a whole lot. And with this technique, basically all I'm gonna do I'm gonna sit Miss Sophia up. Look at those eyes, they're so wide. You're so alert there, little one. Hi. So you're gonna take your index finger and your thumb. You're gonna place it right underneath her chin. And then you're gonna allow her to her chin to rest right there. You're gonna lean her forward just a little bit. What I like about this technique is you can see how alert she is. She's ready. So with her chin resting on my hand, the palm of my hand is directly on her chest here. So I have total control over Miss Sophia. And then you can go ahead and you can burp. And that way works really, really well. So with that technique, I wanna also show you how to do it without a baby being swaddled. Sorry, little one. Okay, she's got the cutest little outfit on. So same concept. You're gonna sit baby up. You're gonna place your index finger and your thumb. You're going to lean her forward, and you're going to burp. And remember, you want to make sure you do a really good pat, not a tiny little one. You want to make sure you get that gas to move around. So those are two really good extra techniques on how to burp your baby. I'm going to pick you up. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're okay. So just remember when you burp your baby, you're always going to want to burp your baby after every feed. And then you're also going to want, when they're this new, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna wanna burp them in between the feeding. So let's say you breastfeed for 15 minutes on one side, burp the baby, and then breastfeed on the other side. Then when you do a bottle, I know, I'm sorry. You wanna give the baby the first 10 ml of the bottle, burp, and then finish the bottle. You're not always gonna hear an audible burp, that's okay, as long as you're burping the baby. So, I know, I'm all done. I'm all done. It's okay. So yeah, that was just a nice short demonstration on how to burp your baby. I hope you enjoyed.